This is the northern service to Carlisle. The next stop is Hayden Bridge. Good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to all passengers joining the service at Carlisle. This is the 11.33 service down to at Manchester Airport. The first stop for this service will be Penrith, around about 13 minutes time. currently on the beautifully smooth uh, Threlkeld to Keswick bike path. I'm heading out to Keswick because I'm uh, wrecking some routes for glorious travel. Doing one today and one tomorrow. Uh, staying overnight in a hotel just so I don't have to carry a tent. Um, but yeah, should be a good couple of days. I'm now 40k in and I'm starting the glorious gravel route uh, going through with the forest. I've been riding along the, the gravel um, just above um, Bassenthwaite and I'm heading now towards Cockermouth. Been really nice gravel so far, uh, super smooth. Gravel's really nice and the weather helps. But I've been opening and closing a lot of gates in the last mile. So you can't complain. Stunning views in the Lake District and yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Hopefully there's some grub that I can get in Cockermouth. There's a lot more road than some of the, the recent routes I've done for Glorious Gravel up in Scotland. But to be honest, with the roads in the Lake District and the, the minor roads, you're probably best on a gravel bike anyway, with the potholes and the, the rough, uh, rough tarmac. And especially with all the steep stuff, uh, it's good to, always good to have gravel gearing. I'm 100k in. And I'm just next to Lowe's Water. We're about to loop round, head back to Keswick, and I'm gonna get a takeaway or something because I'm very hungry. Some pizza or some chips or something.
I chose a route that was off the main road just with it's nicer no traffic and it, it said road was closed but usually you can get around that but uh, that's a fully blocked off road the way around the road closure turned into a bit of a hiker bike um, I'm not sure if this is the correct decision but I kind of don't want to go back the way I came so the footpath around the closed road is also closed um, so I guess I'll have to cycle back and just ride around on the dangerous uh, dual carriageway it's now day two on the two days and wrecking routes for glorious gravel on the lake district and i'm heading towards coniston the route goes pretty close to grasmere so i might not go to the official start i might jump on like halfway out the route but do the do the full loop and i was staying in braithwaite last night so it's about 16 miles from grasmere and had a cooked breakfast, so fueled up and ready for another day of glorious gravel. I've just come onto the route now, uh, passing through Elta Water, and now heading towards Coniston, which is where the, the start would be. So do the, the last bit of the, the route first, and uh, then uh, do the full loop. glad the route is veered away from rhinos and hard knock because that would have been a pretty uh, brutal um, wake up for the legs so heading now on some more gravel and uh, looping around to Coniston So Coniston and, uh, is that way, two and a half, um, three quarter miles, uh, it goes, the route goes along here, but I'm going to go that way, I'm going to cut out that like like four mile part of the route, um, looks okay, scout it out a little bit, um, yeah, head on the, the start of the route now, so just on the end of the Glorious Gravel route and now I'm going on the start. I'm riding adjacent to Coniston Water and I've got uh, views over to the old man of Coniston and the gravel is primo beautiful day and I know it's stupid wearing a jacket but uh, next week I'm out in Kenya for the migration gravel race so I thought why not suffer a little bit do a bit of a heat acclimatization I might be being silly I might be doing nothing but uh, no harm in giving it a go I've had a coke, I've had a apple juice, 
and I've had some grass made gingerbread and that'll fuel me for the, the rest of the ride. I'm now coming into Ambleside where I'm gonna be peeling off the glorious gravel route. We're heading to Windermere to get the train to Oxenholm Lake District and then uh, get back to Newcastle. But yeah, long down the bike, lots of stopping to get uh, footage with the, uh, the big camera and tripod.